between agitation is that is specific and the same movement of a liquid and many times this is one species the mixing is a just non-specific and random movement of a liquid so normally we have mixing with at least two but if you could still use one species so for example if you have an impeller that moves perfectly like this you have agitation and if you have something that moves very randomly that will be mixing so let's talk about agitation the objective is of course to add momentum energy and transport phenomena uh, we want to promote mass transfer for example suspension of solids in liquid well you actually have this, imagine you buy a product and you have solids right here and normally you have liquids uh, the most obvious thing to do is to grab it and mix it or agitate it in order for the substance right here to convert or at least to be seen as a substance or one phase we might even use it for blending miscible substances, liquids, for example if you have let's say a oil right here and another oil right here well if you want a species well you mix them or agitate it and you have it here gas dispersion well obviously similar to solids but right now we're talking about gas well we're going to use it as well for gas dispersion also you need to blend immiscible fluids to form emulsions or suspensions which might be for example butter you have some polar and non-polar substances so if you mix them pretty well you're going to form butter which you will say probably it's solid and even though you have little bubbles of fat and water they are so well agitated that you have at least one phase or it seems like to be one phase that's for mass transfer and I would say that's plenty enough applications but we don't use it just for this, we might even want to promote heat transfer. For example, if we want to increase the area or mass flow or speed, we agitate them and the heat transfer will eventually cover. For example, let's say we have cold water right here and you add hot water and you want to produce, let's say, warm water. So of course you don't want your client or whatever use you're going to use it to have mixed flow for example if you drink it you want either to be hot or cold you don't want it some flows are cold and some flows are hot you want one product so you mix them and they heat up or warm up or cold down whatever process they get they got into one temperature which is uniform so for example you have here very very hot and very very cold you agitate it and you finish up with one temperature so that's maybe one possibility of the applications for promoting this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.